Kelsey here. Today I am so excited to be doing a DIY project with you guys and this one's for those cute little dogs that you have around. So about six weeks ago my husband and I got the cutest Aussie Doodle. He is two years old and his name is Zeke and he is so awesome. And so I don't know if his previous owner used oils with him but he loves them. We diffuse with them all the time. Like he's actually sitting on the floor right next to me and we had the diffuser on, have wild orange in there. Um, but he really likes oils and has loved them and so I wanted to make a doggy deodorant because he got a little stinky and it's not his bath time yet and so <laughs> we wanted to make something that just makes him smell a little bit more fresh. So today for, for your DIY, all you're gonna need is lavender, cedarwood, and vetiver. And these are all oils that are really great to use with dogs. Um, one, all of these are really calming oils for dogs. Um, so if your dog has a lot of anxiety, this is a great one for them too, because not only does it have like those um, benefits in it that are gonna make them not stinky, it's gonna help them calm down too. And then you're gonna need a spray bottle. I like using the eight ounce ones just because they're a good size and I don't know, I just like them. And I also use the glass ones. I'll make sure to link below um, where I like to get my spray bottles too because they have the best prices on them. I bought spray bottles from a bunch of different places but these ones have held up over time and so I just really like them. And I'd also recommend using glass just because if you're using your oils, it helps um, preserve everything a lot better. So this recipe is for small dogs, but uh, my dog is pretty big, he's 60 pounds, and so um, his body could probably handle more, but I just wanna be on the safer end, so I'm just gonna do the small amount. So I'm gonna do six drops of lavender, and four drops of cedar wood, and then four drops of vetiver. So I added all the oils and now I'm just gonna fill up the rest with water. And then I'll wanna shake it up. So every time you use it, you're gonna wanna shake it up beforehand. Um, and I would recommend putting labels on your oils for your dogs. Um, obviously like you could use this on a human too and that would be totally fine. Um, but just with dogs, one oil you do want to be cautious of is Melaleuca, Melaleuca's tea tree oil, and dogs aren't able to metabolize that super well. So I use Melaleuca all the time, and so I just like to make sure that when I'm around my dog or making things for him that I do not use it. Um, so I always mark his things um, with a label, but I'll show you how to use it. So this is my cute pup Zeke, he's the best. So when you're using a spray bottle with dogs, you just wanna make sure that you keep away from like their eyes and their nose and their ears or private parts. But I just go ahead and just spray on their fur and just rub it in. And so, yeah, Zeke does really good with oils. We actually use them all the time with them. So, yep. Oh, he already smells so much more fresh and clean. <laughs> and then it's fun too, because if you take the time to rub it in, then it's a little bit of bonding time with your dog. So there we go. But that's the end of the DIY. I put a little label on it just to make sure. I'll link below. Um, I got the labels at Aroma Tools, but you can always make your own, like on an Avery label or something like that. But I like these ones because they have little paw prints on them, so it just makes makes it clear that if like any kids or babysitters are over or things like that, that they know this one's for the dog. <laughs> 